<laughs> There's the fans at the back. <laughs> They're at the back. Woo! Hands in the air. Hands in the air. Hello. Like Why are we clapping ourselves? We don't Ego need Nawada. Let the motherfucker We're clapping burn. The Sorry, I'm going back to Tijuana days. <laughs> burn, motherfucker. Gary, we know what happens when you start. Burn. Burn. Sco- d- you end up in some skip show. in the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> skip. Oh, welcome hey. to the real BBC. Hello. Hi. Oh. It's so nice that just once in a while we can do a show like this. Nothing happened over the course of the last couple, you know, week or so. And we can just like relax, sit back, kind of just talk about things which have been going. Oh no, everything fucking went to shit again. <laughs> Dude, where do we start? Yeah, which dog did you choose? Like, which okay. doctor do we <laughs> which start doctor? with? <laughs> doctor Who. Uh, House of the Dragon trailer dropped. I oh. forgot about that. Strange New Worlds premiered. Picard oh. ended. Moon Knight ended. Oh, Doctor hell. Strange 2. Which one? Avatar. Don't forget. Blue oh, people. Yeah. Blue oh. people. Oh, I, I, you know what? I did. I forgot the blue people. Because <laughs> I don't know shit like, about oh, the blue people who, like, fuck their animals to fly them or something yes! like that. Yeah. The freaking Get furry them. shit. That, that's that's James Cameron being very rich and jaded and yeah, wanting to get his like furry on like mm. to the tune of a billion dollars. And by the way, all the people who love Avatar who are, I would say, conservatives I completely mi- miss the fucking anti-conservative messages in every single minute of that movie. Yeah, but that's OK. Go ahead and love it. It's OK. Go ahead and love your uh, big suck fest of the environment. All right. Oh, wow. yeah. Um with in the trailer, hasn't he the guy's now fucked Zoe Salander and uh, got mm-hmm. a kid? Yep. Which is like Sam Winston. Problematic. Yeah, Sam Win- Whoa, that's a name I haven't heard since oh, Avatar. Worthington. Totally <laughs> nice guy. Wilson. Okay, Worthington. Sam Wilson is Falcon. Worthington. Worthington. Yeah. Worthington's. Yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Worthington. To- I met him in a bar. I met him in a bar. Why do you got black people on the brain, Gary? Dude, I do I do I do. No, I met him at when I was in LA, when I was working in LA. Like lovely guy, Hobbit. Total Hobbit. Really? Like, he's as he's short, short as oh dude, he's little. He's Who, a, Sam Worthington little. or or Worthington. The guy was yeah. in Clash of the Titans too. Yeah. Yeah. He like came, up, to my, he, he came up to my thing. shoulders, dude. My shoulders. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm like going, oh. Is he related oh. to comics? Uh, what was that? Is he related to comics? <laughs> Maybe. I think he, yeah. I think he's a distant cousin from Australia or something. I think he's from Australia. Pretty sure. Mm. He's one of those funny talking countries where Mahler's from and you're from. Yeah. One of those funny places. But yeah, he was in there and like somebody's like, that's him. And I'm like, ooh. Yeah, he's 5'8". <laughs> wow. Shut us. I, I thought he was going to be like 6'2", you know? Yeah. Taller than me, but how not. you carry yourself, you know. Mm-hmm. That's how you carry yourself. Wow. Oh, let's okay. Let's start with um. Let's start with just just the uh. God, the dregs. Let's just go. Oh, by the, the way, dregs. if he's mm. fucking five eight, I'm seven feet tall. Mm. Wow, he's oh, he's one of the, yeah. So he's he's a, he's a Tom Cruise five foot eight. Yeah, he's a Tom Cruise five foot eight. He's a Sylvester Stallone five. I'm foot six eight. foot. That's what Wikipedia says, yeah. but I don't know if that's true. Yeah. Debatable. Yeah, just like Wikipedia says, all those actresses' weights are 110 pounds. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sure they yeah, right. are. Yeah. Yeah, right. They even joked that in Batman 89. How much do you weigh? 108. And then he goes, <laughs> he just stops halfway up. So he has to drop off. And then when he meets back up, he goes, you weigh a little bit more than 108. Yeah. Like, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I'm 5'3", so 5'8 is still pretty freaking short for a dude. I'm a little... I was over at five foot eight. We still tower over your short ass, dude. X ray girl was towering over me. I was like, well, she is seven, seven foot tall. Yeah, she's tall. Oh, she's actually Damn. seven, seven foot 20. Seven foot 20 <laughs> inches. Uh, oh, hey, before we do the dregs, let's uh, do some introductions. Gary, how you doing? Uh, good, right on time as usual. <laughs> Joe's not totally late because of me. Uh, oh. but uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. Uh, Hi. I, uh, 
I can't wait to talk about the 90 things that we're probably not going to get to because we're <laughs> going to talk about Dr. Fucking Strange for two fucking hours. Oh, my God. I love Dr. Strange. Where are my keys? Where's my, where's my laser pointer? Where's my ball of string so I can go, ooh, Dr. Strange. Boo, boo. I'll just put, I'll, you know what? I'll just fuck around with the mouse and be like a cat and just playing with the mouse and the cat because that's what that movie is, dude. Is the cat lofty pixels in this scenario? It really, it's like, you, you know, you, you fight. You, you try to lay out what the MCU is and people go, that was an MCU. Yeah, oh. I know, I know. Yeah. Gary, I got him to admit. Yeah. Gary, Gary. I got him to admit by the end that the MCU exists, but he thinks I... that it's not in everything and that we're blowing it out of proportion. Okay. Okay. That's, that's fine. And he's, he's a perfectly fine normie and he's one of those people we got to turn, but he's a total normie, absolute normie, which is the worst insult to somebody like Lofty, by the See, way. And my husband absolute is complete... normie gets plain rap shit, light beer, likes football <laughs> likes all the average <laughs> stuff in life wears fucking khakis normie that's what he is what you know what gary though my not husband your khakis is, lofty my husband's an actual normie because lofty at least claims he reads comics my husband's never read comics and he thought this movie was shit like he was like this movie oh my was god awful I, I i just think some guys see hot chicks on the screen and they just can't separate they that from like they're like they, it's they, a good they, story she's Scarlet. got a really nice ass. I can identify with that. I'm fine with that. That's like a logical thing to me. <laughs> like there's she just really hot, hot chicks on the screen. I'm going to like it because it's hot chicks. All right. Don't tell me it's a good story. Don't tell me it makes sense. And do not tell me it's not MCU when the entire fucking through line goes through the antagonist in Doctor Strange's sequel. Fucking retards. <laughs> <laughs> It seems oh you've God. only grown fonder of this film since we last oh talked about God, it. Oh, my God. I was reviewing it for the last two fucking days. And it's... Uh, Me too, I hate Gary. It. I fucking hate this movie so fucking much in I so many ways. And, I and I think a lot of it is is Raimi, too. It's like people love Raimi. I love Raimi. I, I still love Raimi. I watch this movie. I still love Raimi unconditionally. I love Sam Raimi. And I think people have a ton of love for Sam Raimi. And there's moments where, like, it's kind of cool, you know? The undead Doctor Strange and the little deadite wings going. That's fucking cool. The last three minutes. And he does it to give fucking America Chavez a pep talk. So she could defeat the bad. So she could help the bad guy defeat herself. And that's not even him. <laughs> she that's, got that's Cersei. not even him. He, yeah. That's him controlling another version of him. Uh, another version of him. He's not even fucking at the end of his he's own not, movie. He's not in the same universe as <laughs> It's not MCU. What? <laughs> Fucking what? <laughs> and then, and then she. What? <laughs> and then she buildings herself like Cersei Lannister. Like, Fridges oh, herself. Hey, yeah. Cersei didn't do it to herself. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Hey, Cersei all she, just all stood she needed, there. All she needed was a glass of fucking wine and to be staring at a fucking window. That's what she needed. <laughs> Going, Come here, brother. Oh my god. Oh my god. If Wanda would have fucked her brother, it would have been something. It would have been something interesting. Okay. I know, right? If Where came up and they started having sex on the right. fucking Scarlet Witch throne, I'd have been okay. Something happened. I never thought it would make um, a, a Marvel film where the, the entire plot was reliant on Wanda not getting laid. If she did, she'd have had a kid. And there we go. It's all sorted. Oh uh, my god. Never mind. Well, there's so much. Mahler and I. <laughs> and Jay Longbottom, like Jay Longbottom, I was retweeting her a few times because she was just fucking hit point after point. It was beautiful. Um, sling ring, two words. Sling yep. ring. I'll just leave it at that, and we can go well, on with the introductions. <laughs> I, was, I was about to say, I'm going to shut up because we have a new <laughs> introduction. It's just, I have so much to say about that movie. I have so much to say too. Uh, Mola, how you doing? Oh, hey. Uh, what, what can I say that's different from what everyone else said? Um, <laughs> like, well, you know, th this past week I've been interested in all kinds of things, not just one thing specifically, and ripping it to shreds ready as it was five hours for like 30 minutes. You don't understand. It's ridiculous. Gary was there. Gary, isn't it ridiculous? Isn't it's it? ridiculous. We got, we barely got to the 30 minute point after pointing out, like, hey, those big giant fists that he made, why didn't he make them again? <laughs> Hey, that big giant blade that he made that could have killed anybody. Why didn't he do that at the end? Well, and then we just stopped talking about the sling ring because we're like, just let's just stop talking about the sling ring because it makes it makes everything <laughs> but they bad. They wanted to have a musical fight. The musical fight's fine. I, I that's 
that's totally fine. I Doing new it. things is fine. Um, but like with with films like this, I think everybody on EFAP and I agree, like if you're gonna do fantastical stuff, <clears throat> just set a basic set of rules. Go like, hey, we can only do one spell once. We only got this in our pocket once. Oh, yeah, just what anything. you gotta do. Just something. Yellow, I saw Yellow Flash said uh, Lofty needs the link. I, I, I think the people here no. need to say what they need to say. Lofty, Lofty don't need any more uh, attention seeking than they've already got from this. So you, you can do that on, yeah. on your. I'll be like, <laughs> I'll be like, stream with them. I ain't wasting, I ain't wasting fucking no time with them on this. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I, I heard, I sat through that whole thing, and it's just like, you know, people have their opinion. That's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna have mine. Yeah. I, I don't know anybody that could actually stand against all the contradictions. It's literally impossible. This is the most contradictions I've ever found in a movie. And this is me and, who's and, talking, <laughs> by the way. And also the Illuminati scene was made for fucking laughs. Uh, in, in the sea. <laughs> Just in the sea. Right now. I wasn't laughing. I was very fucking upset. Oh, I, I was just was. baffled. I, I, I was I, completely I, baffled. Okay, Siri so just asked for... me what I was asking. What, what does what the fuck mean? <laughs> <laughs> the robot doesn't know. No, the ro it's, it's the robot's just like I don't understand. Was made for fucking lost. It Mole is doing a video. No, no, I I get notes for breakdowns for a uh, for EFAP, yeah. and um, I'd only done half the film. We started it with, with the <laughs> one with Gary, and uh, and I was like, I won't need to know everything. And now that we're splitting into two parts, I was like, well, I guess I'll know everything. And my God. Yes, chat. The, these are these are still the introductions. Yes, every introduction has to involve Doctor Strange now. It's a it's a thing. It does. <laughs> it does. All my notes. I, I'm too embarrassed to show how bad my writing is. But um... so uh, so you're doing all right then, Morley. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, wonderful. And was looking for. I think I said in the last real BBC. Next week we'll be talking about Doctor Strange because it'll be out by then. Looks hey, like... Chris Gore in the chat. How you doing, I, Chris? Looks like I prophesied. Chris Gore did have the best roast of Laffy. It. I was shocked. I could not believe that came out of Chris Gore's mouth. I, I didn't so either. I didn't either. <laughs> it was fucking amazing. Uh, no, if you if you want in, Chris, you send, just send us a DM and I'll send you the link, Chris, if you want in. Uh, I know he's a senior busy person. Uh, Nina! Hi! How you doing? I'm good. How are you guys? Well, I guess... We, not about great. to find out yeah um thank you for having me on it's gonna it's gonna be an amazing show i fucking hate dr strange too at this point it's fucking <laughs> bullshit also where the fuck was vision can anyone answer this question vision oh, no, important. no one likes him go away that probably probably the most important if you're gonna do a wonder film because this was a fucking wonder film yep. probably the most important character to have been next to wonder in this film absolutely yep. yeah not even a without fucking question. second without we'll do Question: They rely on one division to explain all the bullshit that happened before, while ignoring why one division happened, which is Vision's yep. death. That yes. is the whole you, reason you, for that show. I was you, so upset. I'm like, sorry, I'm, I'm gonna wait for the entire reason. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, but it was like the entire reason that show even existed was that she was fucking depressed about losing Vision, and she yep. created that world, and then as a result, created the babies. But Vision came first, and yep. that was her. Because Vision was real. Reason she made this thing, yes. and then it's like, who fucking cares about Vision now? And then where is he in the <sighs> other universe? He wasn't even a baby daddy, like a human baby daddy in the other universe. No, nope. nothing. No, nope. uh, I'm just upset. This this movie was trash. And let's get on with the show. This is fucking gonna mm -hmm. be great. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so let's start off with uh, Picard. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm fine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> Uh, and that, um, wait, you mean you mean uh, Professor Xavier that showed up? Well, we'll <laughs> like, the card's not even good enough to roast. The the finale was just a wet fart. I mean, like it meant nothing. They destroyed all the Star Trek the episode before, so it's not even worth discussing. To be honest with you. It's uh, before we start, I mean, got to show uh, Normie's uh, uh, love in this film because uh, Doctor Strange is already on. 478 million after the first weekend worldwide no china yeah no mm. no, china. no china no china uh let's so, see what happens uh, in two weeks even though it seems it seems to be doing under the prediction of the uh domestic it, but okay. it, yeah that, yeah it's it's um it's probably it's doing well numbers it's doing well dude half a billion in a week is fucking great yes yeah, and uh yeah as i'm gonna spoil the end of my review more crap 
All right. <laughs> Woo! Well, but, but this is this it. is it. This is this is validation of crap. Yeah. This is quarter, this is half a billion dollars. So why is Marvel going to change? They're why? Not. There's no. They're not going to change. They're like we can literally factory produce shit, and normies will fucking just turn up in droves, stuff their faces full of popcorn, and then just go. Where's the next film? Where's the that's, next film? That's the the Marvel consumer's favorite thing is the next Marvel thing. Yes. Well, and I and I think it's uh, I mean, this is one of those things where I was explaining on Flashcast, and I've explained that I went to the movies with my husband, who has not seen WandaVision. He's a normie. He doesn't care about Disney Plus shows, but he liked Doctor Strange, and he wanted to see Doctor Strange. He had just seen him in the new Spider-Man movie and he was excited to see it. We go there and the entire time is like, wait, wait, what, what's going on? Like WandaVision. Uh, I mean, like, wh like he, Wanda's got kids now. What, ha what's happening? So I'm like trying to explain to him, like whispering, like, yes, there's a, there's another show. It's WandaVision. You know, like I'm trying to like, explain, explain mm -hmm. these things, but most normies won't understand this because they're used to the other model of the movies, the Marvel cinematic universe. Whereas in now, this has become a business model of promoting Disney Plus shows and not the actual movies. This is about getting people to watch Disney Plus, which is fucking bullshit. And I'm done with it. And I, honestly, I'm done with Disney Plus. Moon Knight was trash. Mm. Moon Knight was trash. I gave, um, well, I gave up on Moon after three, so. It it's was a good thing you did. Terrible, yeah. Uh, you, <laughs> Dude. you totally missed out on it. You totally, yeah. missed <laughs> totally missed out on your... On wasting time instead of enjoying your I life. Know, and what, what a <laughs> but I've got to waste my time on other things because I've unfortunately, over the course of the last few months, decided to just not watch trash. You know, I've just like passed up on it for other people to watch, like Picard and Discovery and uh, Moon Knight. And, and unfortunately, I'm going to have to take some hits for the team now. So I'm going to have to watch like Kenobi and this Marvel. Ugh. You know, what, um, I was just having a thought. How crazy this is! Like, let's say for whatever reason, fucking the Guardians land. They they meet up with, uh, at the end of this movie. They just to, to touch base and be like, "What's going on?" Whatever. And Doctor Strange, maybe not Guardians. Actually, let's go with fucking Clint because he seems to have such nice things to say about him. Just turns up like, "Hey man, what's, what's uh, I heard something was going on. What's happening?" And he's like, "Oh, you know, the whole multiverse was at risk. Millions of people have died." Plenty of superheroes in other dimensions and stuff. And he's like, what the fuck? Like, that sounds like the biggest thing ever. Who's doing it? It's like, um, well, I mean, Wanda, actually. Yeah. Like, uh, nobody was even told, <laughs> like, during all of this. Um, I saw yeah, it was yeah. a great comment on the EFAP we did, by the way. Uh, it was right at the top. It's a guy called Stephen Richter put it there. He said, she said she's going to head there by nightfall. Um, uh -huh. It was day in America, so it was nightfall uh -huh. where they were already, which means that they had a whole day to prepare. So when they're dealing with the universe being half at stake with Thanos, it's like they they get every person they know, bring yep. them all in to destroy yep. them. When yep. it's the multiverse, the entire multiverse, <laughs> they mm -hmm. bring in a couple of archers after literally saying, "Why would I want to bring in an archer?" Not even Marvel's Katie, not, not even, even Marvel's Katie. Katie, and it's it's. And as Rags correctly pointed out, it's you. The stakes can't get higher unless you find a multi multiverse. I mean, it's the entire multiverse is at stake. These are the highest. Stakes. There's no story. See none. These are the highest stakes you've ever seen in the Marvel fucking cinematic <clears throat> universe. The bitch shows up early or a day late. We're not really sure. It, it is daytime out there. And yeah, how in the fuck did Doctor Strange know she was a witch? How? How she doesn't know witchcraft at the end of her finale. In her finale, oh, wow. I showed you guys that frame where she goes, I don't know how to cast spells. I don't know witchcraft. That's in her finale. Yeah, it's kind of worse than that in a way. he He's asked by Wong, like, who do we know who knows anything about witchcraft? And and I thought that the implication was he knew he, she fought uh, Harkness. Yeah. And I was like, wait, yeah. how does he know about all of this? Like, did somebody tell him? And how long ago? Was it sword? Like, and what did they tell him exactly? Like, well, he I wanted to go and help Mauler, but Kevin Feige said, <laughs> uh, we're not sending just in another white dude. Yeah. You, you can West picture, like, okay. Okay. literally flying toward the place that Kevin Feige's there, his arms out wide, like, trying to stop him, going back and forth. Like, no, 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 don't, don't, don't. So 
Uh, yeah, I was very confused because it, it it sounds like Doc Strange knows the show. Like what we watched as the show is all in his head. Like he knows all of that, and it's just like how, no, he how? watched. He he's got Disney Plus. He's got Disney Plus. I just imagine like Victoria Alonso behind every corner, like so they wanted to put grooming, Doctor grooming Strange children at, at well, yeah, being very mm. pro grooming children, and then uh, being around the corner like whispering in Kevin's ear. It's like I, you can't put Doctor Strange at the end, um, because that would rob Wanda of her agency, so she could totally enslave a town and well, yeah her, her oh, agency oh, was, she's was a powerful woman yeah this, this is the scene gary was talking about at the end of wandavision oh and uh something that's interesting about this is that a lot of people have been saying this uh wanda is not but the scarlet witch is a nexus being meaning there's only one of her across okay, the entire when multiverse did they mention the word nexus once in exactly multiverse. so first of well, all they where did they anything. say that once never don't, don't write a show for them it's I, their I, fucking job to write the film and write the shows. Don't insert what you're implying, which isn't even implied. Yeah. You're making it up in your head, and that's why you're thinking it's fucking good, because you're making shit up, going, oh, well, this is because of this, and this is because of this, even though it's not in the fucking show, never implied in the fucking show, never mentioned in the fucking show, but then you, th you, you convince yourself you just watch something good because you've put one and one together and made up your own fucking story and come up with five. Yeah, exactly. I've saying that in a lot of my Marvel reviews of late, a lot of uh, the criticism that goes away uh, real quick, especially with Disney Plus, though, as uh, people love to conflate comic book stuff into the show. And I'm like, guys, they plucked an element. So she, you plucked an element of House of M. A couple of things, a couple of similar actions in House of M happened uh, in, in Multiverse of Madness. It, the only thing missing was all the fucking X-Men, all the Avengers, the context, it's got nothing to do with it. So, so yeah, you're conflating. We're talking about the film, Multiverse of Madness, uh, Nexus event, never brought up. Loki's uh, Loki, never brought up. Where was Kang? No, Where was fucking that. Kang, a descendant of Reed Richards, never brought up. Spider-Man, No Way Home, <laughs> passing mention. Which I but think all the multiverse incursions are different multiverse incursions. Mm -hmm. They're all confusing. At the this one point. in fucking Loki has got nothing to do with the one in No Way Home, which has got nothing to do with the one in fucking Doctor Strange Two. So well, what the fuck was later, Loki about? They well, I know. Later, what? No, but here's the problem: is with the might later thing, they were planting Thanos. at the beginning. They were planting Thanos at the end. That's what that yeah. they might do this later. They aren't doing any of that shit here. There's all the the post credit scenes are a waste of time. And we get uh, Clea on fucking Marvel Ice. That costume was shit, by the way. Oh. She was hot. She looked terrible. That really? Was like I thought she was hot. Costume. Like her hair was ever hot. fucking seen. It looked like a 90s TV show Marvel costume. And Charlize I, Theron's like 90. I just uh, think Charlize Theron's hot. And as, and as uh, Jay Longbow says, let her go. What, what did she say? Sexually indoctrinate black boys on her own. Leave her alone. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I respectfully disagree, Gary, about that point because I think Charlize Theron's freaking hot. Uh, otherwise, sure. I mean, I, I don't, I don't care about. She that doesn't concept. look anything like fucking Clea. She doesn't know how to run to the left, <laughs> and she has what like stunning eye makeup True. on as her fucking mask. Like, what, what, what does she have time to put that, or does she do it with a magic spell? I'm just gonna eye make up this shit. Like Clea looks hot <laughs> in the comic books. Maybe she's got she Jeffrey. Hair. She's got this big fucking black Whatever. thing huh? that comes up and a cool cape, and she's got like these tights. And she looks fucking rad, and she didn't look anything like that. I thought it was. I laughed. Uh, I just read this from J Max. Two hundred, two hundred fucking dollars, dude. Wow, that's, uh, that's an insane amount of money. That's uh, more money than fucking Doctor Strange is able to have on its budget. Uh, my barber asked me if I watched the new. <laughs> Lucky you, you still get to get to barbers, do you? Okay. Yeah. Uh, my barber asked me if I watched the new Marvel movie, Doctor Strange 2, and I told him I was burned out on this Disney Marvel. He's a super normie, so I thought he'd disagree with me, but he said, and I quote, yeah, that shit is getting kind of stupid, isn't it? I still have hope. Half a billion dollars in a weekend. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Half a billion happy. dollars in a weekend. Half a billion in a weekend without China. Um, without China. The reason I brought up the the nexus being thing is uh not just because you, you guys are right that, that people are putting their own stuff in to try and make it make sense um but in universe agatha harkness says to her yeah. you're the scarlet yeah. witch and she's like i'm not a witch i don't cast yeah. spells and then she says back something like yeah you you cast them automatically because of how powerful you are you're the scarlet witch so that means that they're all the scarlet witch 
because all of them do that. All the wanders do that in all mm -hmm. the universes. Mm -hmm. yep. So this whole theory about the Scarlet Witches and Nexus being is full of shit. That's, that's not how it works. They're all the Scarlet but Witch. But the worst thing that could have happened, because let's just face it, Doctor Strange is a is a is a fucking passenger in his own movie. Yes. Is they could have ended the movie with a good Scarlet Witch fighting a bad Scarlet Witch. That I would have been witch section. But that that person that you just brought up, the Charlize Theron character, she's taken over from Doctor Strange in the yeah. comics now. He's mm -hmm. dead in his comics. He's dead oh. in his own comics right now as we speak. And Clea is strange. MCU, baby. M M she so they're setting Ooh. up Doctor Strange dying, probably for her to take over as Doctor Strange. Oh, they foreshadowed his, I mean, they don't have plans, but they could have foreshadowed his death in this film. Like absolutely, because he's got he, he has the dark hold now. He's got the third eye. It's got yeah. a hold of him. No, but he that stopped when Charlie's Theron turned up in the post credit scene. Well, well, he was, no, he was no, screaming, no, no, no. and then he was like, "Oh, just nope." Joke. The only reason she showed up was to have a follow through on what Doctor Strange's entire journey was to be a, an avatar for a pep talk, and to be told that he's scared to love. And then she said, "Are you scared?" scared. That was that was Doctor Strange's fucking journey in his own fucking movie, unfucking believable. Uh, it's I not thought he's um, I don't know what he's arc was in this movie. Like arms again. It's not. I'm Shao. I I could see like when I was like talking to Script Doctor about this, like you know he he said that there there was a there was an option where they could have had him be like because he was trying to pretend to be a, a mentor to America Chavez and like they could have taken that line and made it a lot better in terms of like, let's actually figure out what your power is and then let me actually mentor you because he didn't do that in WandaVision because, you know, Kevin Feige was like, we don't want him to mentor a white a white man to mentor a, fem a female it's character. Not a mentor. It's more of a protector passenger. She's giving him just as much information as he is giving her. They're both kind of clueless. Like America, yeah, America she, um, is just a MacGuffin in this. Yeah, but I'm saying, a couple of times in the movie. Yeah, um, but I, like he's that saying hard? that they was could that? have made it so that he was a mentor and actually helped yeah, her figure yeah. it out and actually yeah. well, you know walk her through done things. A thousand things. They could have done a montage of her being uh, seducted or seduced. Sorry, seduc seduced, seduced by the Darkhold. Ooh. Yeah, ooh, seducted, sucked. Uh, no, her getting you know take it over by the dark hold but that just happens off screen that just happens mm -hmm. it's like oh she's uh, wanda's gone now that's all what fucking strange comebacks and uh, wanda's gone now what how's she how's she gone she wasn't gone when we ended and and you talked to her once and she's gone your teammate your friend who helped but you if you hadn't if you hadn't seen one division you wouldn't even known about the dark hold no you wouldn't you'd be like what the fuck is going on and there were people who were confused in the theater Oh, yes, yeah. my husband was one of them. He was yep. so confused. He was well, like, what hoping, is happening? They're hoping for you to be distracted by all the colors of the people and the, the events, explosions the running around. The pain Wait a minute. Dimension. American Chavez is a McMuffin? She's a, oh, there's lots of McMuffins. There's a <laughs> McMuffin? There's a, there's, a, there's a good book McMuffin to counteract the bad book <laughs> McGuffin and the girl who's the key to everything McMuffin. So there's was, three McMuffins, and they end up like not being for shit at the end. One of them, uh, but the other two get destroyed. I was watching um, Drinker's video last night before I went to bed, mm -hmm. and uh, I was just dying laughing every time he was calling America Chavez some other uh, a South American country. So it was Puerto Rico Chavez, then it was Peruvian Chavez, then it was Dominican Republic Chavez. <laughs> He was why too was her, why was her name America Chavez? Because she's from another universe, right? Where like America doesn't exist. Like, well, her, so why, her, she, why is she wearing a pride flag when the only people that exist on a planet are females? Um, because her Cause origin, they're lesbos. Because she's a, no, they're not lesbians. Because there's only what? females on their planet. The females yeah. reproduce with each other. Oh, I thought Wait, they were lesbos. Thing? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, no. Okay. It is an origin so bad that Marvel Comics has already retconned it, but they used it for the fucking MCU. <laughs> but it doesn't Wait, exist when? anymore in the comic books. And America Chavez came from the Ultimate Universe. She's based on Miss America. She's been changed 50 times because she's like Miss Marvel. She's, I need diversity character. I am diversity. And that fucking idiot who came out like, I'm not getting any fucking residuals from creating America Chavez. For one, the one he created isn't is barely what this one is. And uh, when you work for Marvel, you work for hire. 
sorry, don't work for Marvel. Don't fucking work for Marvel if you want to write. You you want rights to your shit? Don't work for Marvel or DC. But, really, that's. But, but if you're not familiar with the car comics or her origin story, <laughs> all we saw was her lesbians' moms, and then they got sucked into a fucking not black lesbians. hole. Well, okay. whatever. Her moms. They, yeah. Her moms yeah. got sucked into a black hole and then because she got stung by a bee and i was like what no she didn't get stung (laughs) she didn't even get stung by the bee the bee just landed (laughs) on her finger funny and i was like what i look good i just scared of bees i hit fucking miss like my kids in between i just go over to mrs neurotic about and she knew what i was gonna say i'm like that's what happens when there's no dudes around Mm -hmm. yeah (laughs) shit like that happens all the time yeah she had a daddy who shot that bee well before got anywhere near it (laughs) What the Hell fuck? yeah! I'd have shot it with a fucking Me shotgun. Yeah, but the, yeah, and then the pride flag <laughs> still exists in their universe. <laughs> like I, I just don't understand. Like how the 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 the, the pride flag is like multiversal. It's not situation. even a pride. Yeah, it's a multi pride well, I mean, she, flag, right? She would have so, grown up in. Like, she would have grown up in several different universes. We just have to assume she went to one <laughs> when with with. I don't know. She ended up in a pride parade. I, don't, I have no idea. A pr- a, a, a gay verse. Yes. There, you know there's a pride hey, we've verse. we've got the that's... gay verse. Wait, yeah. this yeah. is the gay verse. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is the gay verse. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everyone's fucking gay in this universe. Um, this isn't representation. This is over-representation. But it's not MCU, you guys. No. 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 Oh, it's not men, MCU. Men have no agency in their own films. None. Shang-Chi had no agency in his own film. Doctor Strange had no agency in his own film. Uh, even in bloody uh, Black Panther, he was led around by two uh, women. Yep. There's a, two uh, a third one when they men. got back to Wakanda and Shuri joined, Shuri joined in as well. It's, a- it's not MCU, but the entire Illuminati fight was basically uh, Captain Killed. Marvel putting up a fight and no, no. fucking Killed Peggy Carter. A privilege killed in order of privilege that's true wait how do you decide who has more privilege out of black bolt king. and Miss Fantastic? Black Bolt's a king black bolt's a king ah oh. ah most privileged <laughs> most <laughs> privileged because well king. he's white so he, he was left in a hole he, he was, was Mr. fantastic but you, yeah I, okay i see well uh, Mr. Fantastic Fantastic team leader, though, right? no 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 the fucking he's the keeper of the terrigen mist he's a king he's like an emperor like yes he is more privileged than mr fantastic Absolutely killed him in order of privilege. Then they killed. Why did why did Miss uh, why did Miss Ma Miss Captain America Miss fucking whatever? Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to insult Haley Atwell because I want to bang her so badly. Oh my god! Um, she's so- <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, that maybe should have stayed in my head, but I don't know. Wow! Um, but uh, wow, wow! Why wow. did what? 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 <laughs> We're all thinking it. Don't fucking look at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> Even the women are thinking the same thing. She's hot. Cool. She's hot. Uh, why Not- did she say, um, I could do this all day? Because that's what you say when you have the Captain America outfit and the Captain America shield. That's what you do. <laughs> she had the, the thing she had you do. Except it's Britain. Except it was British. It's the British dinner plate. Well, you know, I will say this. In in all <laughs> fairness, then <laughs> over it's got sandwiches on the other side. In all fairness, she didn't look like her animated counterpart that looks like a fucking dude. No, you she can't actually make look Haley like a woman. Ugly. You can't. You can't. Well, I mean, the, you, the other woman, you, you, certainly. For one, Captain Marvel, I'm pretty sure that was a dude. I was convinced. <laughs> I'm like, oh, 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 okay. I was like, no. yay, male Captain Marvel. Look at that. Oh, shit. Okay, never mind. Nope. Um, and did, she, did Captain Marvel get killed by a Brie Larson Captain Marvel statue? I didn't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying. I was gonna ask you guys if you recognize who the statue was because I got a Captain Marvel star right here. So, oh I- god, that would be hilarious. I don't remember who oh, it was to be honest. Oh, or is it was it Net ben- Annette Benning's Marvel? Either oh. way, if it, if a black woman got killed by the white woman statue, the symbolism there is like kind of fucking funny. I need you to see this right? now. Like, if a- that's the case, well, yeah. I'm laughing. Somebody had a good fucking laugh at Marvel, and I'm laughing with you. <laughs> <laughs> what about, like, the, the brain dead nature of having made this film it's like the one thing they show that kills captain marvel is the thing they threw at her a few seconds ago what do you want? dude 
she threw she flew through a uh, same powers by the way same power set she flew yeah, yeah. Through a fucking ship at end game but a statue was gonna kill her what you said i like gary you say she did it at game she did it her own movie she flew through a spaceship oh, yeah. in space <laughs> oh, fuck, i mm. forgot her own movie too they've completely forgotten how any of this works <laughs> well yeah. they for I think they people completely, have just completely for forgotten the movies that's yeah. the problem they also completely forgot that Doctor Strange didn't actually show up in WandaVision and has nothing to do with WandaVision. Why is he the fucking protagonist of WandaVision season two? Meanwhile, Vision's nowhere to be found. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Perry is watching and I'm sure he's clipping. If he's not, well, he's, he's kind of busy right now. He'll watch it later. He never misses the BBC. So, yes. Um, Perry. There's no WandaVision two. No. Mm -mm. This was it. <laughs> no, I think yeah. I think oh, this this, this, is... this was one division. Yeah, this was one the Maximoff and the multiverse of fucking shite. Well, the, the Even writer... though they went to like three different worlds, that was it. Some multiverse you got there. The writer noped out. Can can we highlight not... by the way that there is we got two villainous characters. They're in my head right now. Okay, and one of them mm -hmm. went up to Miss Fantastic, a known one hundred percent hero. And she's still got stuff in her head to know. Remember, she said she doesn't take, she doesn't relish killing people. She, she mm -hmm. said that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. She, she turns him into spaghetti and then blows up his head, right? Now mm -hmm. I'm thinking, is there any other villain that you guys can think of that doesn't have the worry about hurting people that did turn a hero into spaghetti but didn't kill them? Can you think who that is? Thanos. That's the one. Mm -hmm. Thanos actually spares people if he doesn't need to kill them. Yeah. Because he has the power to get them out of his way, just like she does. Yep. Mm. She can she doesn't take it. It's no. kind of amazing to me that they had... The, I don't think they realized they had the same scene, essentially. And instead, she chooses to fucking blow up his skull once the spaghetti's gone all the way up to his neck. Like, tearing apart every limb and his torso first. She's a cunt. And I totally agree that the Illuminati scene was there done... the monetization. ...for laughs. That's that's that was done for fuck. It was done for laughs, and uh, I mean, Marvel I thought it was done to laugh at the fans. Um, pretty much. I mean, yeah. like I think. Well, wait, yeah, like it was, I'm sure they thought it was really funny to pop block Black Bolt's head, like in a funny, evil, <sighs> dead way. But it, it it wasn't like comic fans, real comic fans who read the comics. There's no one fucking happy with that. No one happy with that scene. No one happy with the designation of the fucking six one six. The MCU for one has its own yeah. de designation. <clears throat> Has always had its own designation. It's one, it's like five nines, one nine 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 nine. It's not six one six, six one six in the comic book universe. I completely agree with you. And when they had Mysterio say this is six one six, I thought it was like, oh, there you go. That's a clue that he's memeing. He he's actually a fraud. He has no idea what he's talking about because that's the wrong designation, because that's the comic one. And they're now they've canonized that he was they right. Canonized was it. Right. Yes. And and he was no, right, and he made it up. He was and, making it up in that movie. Because he, he was. wasn't from a different multiverse. He wasn't from a different multiverse. And and it was supposed to be a reference. And that's what people are saying this is too. It was just, well, they don't know. It's just a reference. It's like, no, no, she was she was brilliant. Uh like five times in my video, I said Laura Palmer. Uh I, I don't care. I said <laughs> Oh my god, that's yeah. hilarious. <laughs> Twin Peaks is great. Like, yeah. Laura Palmer, fuck Christy Palmer. Twin Peaks. But she was just a brilliant woman of science when they got there, and she helped women develop absolutely everything in, a, in the Illuminati. She built the cages by herself, she built the handcuffs that can depower Doctor Strange oh, all by herself. Because yeah. we need women in STEM. So women in STEM, bracelets. buddy. Women bracelets. in STEM. They uh they stop your magical powers, right? So of course they put him on America Chavez to prevent her powers from because she could escape if if they if they left him on. Guess what she has on when she uses her powers to escape? Those oh, bracelets. Those bracelets. Whoopsie Whoops. doopsie doopsie. Oh, what about <laughs> Defender Doctor Strange? I was fucking so dim in our EFAP. I thought you were being serious. Uh, I think it's <laughs> sarcasm, and I catch. I usually speak fluent s sarcasm, but you knew, <laughs> and I didn't know. That Doc Defenders Doctor Strange does not have a sling ring in the beginning yeah, yeah, of that yeah. movie. And when he gets up, when they re resurrect him, they fucking focus in on the sling ring he never had. Because if he had the sling ring in the beginning of the movie, we wouldn't Film's need over. to be doing this movie. It's over. The whole <laughs> film is over if he has a sling ring at the beginning. Yep. They destroyed the entire movie with that one shot because yep. the writer like, was like, well, of course he can be zombie strange, but how does he get to the mountain? It's like, well, you'll have to have a sling ring. 
but he didn't have it's like the disappearing knife in uh in tlj except this time they disappeared oh. it when he needed it and they reappeared it when he uh well when he needed it oh and lots of bodies disappear it's not just the motorcycle rider like just people just fucking disappear instead of getting blown up or stepped on or whatever it's it's a lot yeah. Um, Why did yeah. Wanda even send a demon to do a job that she could have done she in being reasonable? How, how did she even know that that America Chavez chick existed? But there was another dark hole. Oh, through the dark hole thing. And and, um, and, being, and be, sorry, and being MCU, this 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 movie makes uh, women look dumb as fuck. By the, the way, thank you, thank you, because it, we're we're basically emotional wrecks that can't be reasoned with, and uh, a bunch of fucking weirdo women that are on their period and just can't figure anything out. There's so uh, many. Peri- I I even stayed away from it in my review, but fuck, is there so many? Fucking, uh, I'm gonna have to put in the clip. The bears can smell the menstruation. Because okay. everything new at the minute is fucking shit, Camo. Oh my god! Here, here's the thing, though. One of the things that really pisses me off about the argument about, um, like that scene with the Illuminati is, and I, the fact that I say like it was insultive to to see that happen to, uh, especially the the characters that we wanted to see for the first time, like Mister Fantastic and Professor X in that universe and the Marvel universe and stuff like that. Like they they say like the the argument is that they were variants. So who cares? And I'm like. I don't give a shit that there were variants. We've been waiting to see Mr. Fantastic in yeah. the MCU for fucking years. There's been fan petitions to get John Krasinski as Mr. Fantastic. It's been a huge deal for us that we wanted him and his wife to be like, you know, Sue and uh, and Re- 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 Richards. And now it's like, oh, who fucking cares? They're just variants. We're just going to kill them off and make them pathetic. It's just like, it's an insult. I don't like it. Don't come at me with that variant. Bullshit. And how about like poor Wanda that was possessed goes back to that universe and then gets murdered by the invisible woman as soon as she gets home. They will <laughs> step on her and fucking human torch will blow her. I mean, like, because she's dangerous. Yeah. You know, this Scarlet oh, dude, she's come from anywhere. She's gonna dead. Like, trust her. Yeah. She's dead. Ten <laughs> it's going to be a mass genocide. Yeah. They are going to over. annihilate her. Yeah. When, when they look at the, the cameras, when they roll them back, Mordo isn't dead. He's going to be like, where the fuck is this yep. bitch? Kill her now. By the way, if Mordo is what left in a crevice, nice. they just yeah. fucking, fucking forgot <laughs> about hole. him. It's so yeah, embarrassing. Movie. It's so dumb. I for, like, I even forgot about Mordo. And I'm watching it again. I'm like, oh, they just left him in a fucking crack. Oh, dude. You yeah, know the best let's, let's create a room. With a crack that if you fall in it, you can't yeah, get out. <laughs> yeah, like what the sorcerer fuck was it? The sorcerer um, fucking supreme. He's the sorcerer supreme. <laughs> My asshole. He's the sorcerer. You can't supreme. get out of a crack. That's like signs, and a, a fucking alien can't get out of a wooden <laughs> cupboard. <laughs> um, you know that. The, the fucking toad is driving me nuts, right? He's uh, Doc Strange points out that he only needs one vote to kill him because everyone else is dead. And Mordo recognizes that and says, I'm ready to cast my vote, and then tries to kill him. So that means Mordo has respected the idea that his entire team are dead. And then he cracks a fucking joke. I'm starting to understand why your Mordo hates you. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck, dude? (laughs) For one, they found his one weakness. Cracks. Cracks in the ground. (laughs) In the ground. Wait, wait. Oh, my God. Even though Dr. Strange just fucking bounced his way out of it by hitting the sides. Maybe the only way it works for me at all is the eight three eight. Everybody has a room temperature IQ. It's like kind of the the simpleton s- special needs universe where like, you just, you like Professor IQ. X is like as smart as your average guy, and everybody it's kind of it's <laughs> idiocracy. It's the it's idiocracy superheroes. That's the only reason it works because the two women like when Reed Richards and Black Bolt, Black Bolt are getting murdered. The two women just standing there with their fucking thumbs up their ass. One of them has a big fucking shield that she could have thrown. The yeah. other one has laser beams that Lasers. come out of her fucking fists. And she goes, let's watch him die really slow. Um, Was there a hidden meaning behind uh, saying that the black dude's uh, kryptonite is crack? Uh, that is terrible. That is, wow. There's a, He's wow. a crackhead. No, there's well, no that's all you could see. You could just see his head in the crap. Hey, I was getting all kinds of weird messaging out of this movie. For one, uh, all, 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 all Spanish speakers automatically know how to steal. Uh, <laughs> black Oof. people, black people end up in cracks and forgot about. Uh, this is what happens to white women, women kill women. black women. Well, well, white women kill black women. This is what happens to a woman when she gets too old to have kids. 
how it should have ended is going to have a field day with this movie, and one of the endings has to include cats. Hmm. I don't understand how the video would end at any point. They just have to keep going with all the things that got fucked up in this film. Um, am I the only person that kind of was rooting for Wanda at some point? Just, 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 to, just destroy the whole fucking thing. She, like, just, just fucking herself, get it over with. When she put herself and myself out of our misery together from watching the film. Yeah, yeah, was yeah like, that's what yeah, I was. You go, yeah. go, kill yourself. I was just like, great. The ultimate insult. She's just now completely uh, stopped Doctor Strange from having any fucking agency now because because mm -hmm. he can't defeat her. She has to defeat her fucking self. And how and fucking smart. insulting is that for your fucking hero? And is zombie. none of you, none of you are good enough. None of you can fucking touch me. I'm just gonna have to fucking kill myself now in a, in a slither, slither moment of fucking realization. Because um, you had to end the fucking film. That's the only reason why she had the realization. Meanwhile, five minutes ago, Jesus. a man told her the very same, very same thing. thing. Was like, hey, man, like, you know, maybe wouldn't you be happy knowing that your kids are fine in some other universe? And she's like, no, fuck you. <laughs> like, a girl had like, to show her. A girl, a had, girl had to, to show, show her. And by the way, a zombie Doctor Strange nodding in approval as Wanda kills herself, I mean, is just the perfect symbolism for the MCU. <laughs> Yeah, I can't. His intelligence has once again just like fucking plummeted. When Wong is like, "You have to take her powers." In, in, the, at that moment, I was like, "Right, I'm actually curious what they're gonna do here because of the yes. fact that yeah, you kind of need to, and you've only ever danced around it and avoided it." And he's like, "No, I'm gonna tell her to believe it herself. Oh I'm my pretty god, sure that'll do it. <laughs> they should have done it. They wow. should have done it. He should have taken her believe, power. Believe in the heart of the cards. Power, That's what should, you have to do. One, they should America her head off." Cut her head because taking her power would kill her. Would still kill her there. Yeah, I mean, it, like people like are trying to treat it as though it's um yes, but it's it's the wrong decision of sacrificing one person for the world. It's like no, no, no. She dies anyway. She always dies. Yeah. She, he should have done it. He was at that point. He was evil, Doctor Strange. Anyway, he was. He had been touched by the dark home or whatever. He was she evil. Gave him permission. Just fucking kill her. Like just do it, and then it would have actually been interesting. She had a hero's journey. She was she was brilliant all along. It was all there all along. And the only thing they the only trend they bucked is they had a a, a guy in a as in an avatar in a completely different universe in a fucking zombie going, you can do it. You can do it. They, they just should have had that. You can do it. And then uh, she gets the powers. By the way, that the, the other thing that really bothered me, and this is this is the stuff about Sam Raimi's uh, take that I think that would have worked had they actually let him do what he probably wanted to do because this is like MCU horror whereas in he he would have probably done a much better job if he could have you know went all in but like there's certain things that just didn't work like the fact that she was flying around everywhere and then the moment that she actually got to within arm's reach she starts gimping because she's like fucking you know cut her foot oh, and she's not the, flying around the time where they just stop the action she starts to she could have just taken her power at any moment she finally gets her at the end she could have just gone suck power yep. done She's yeah, like, I'm going to monologue now as Doctor Strange fights himself for a book he needs to project himself into the zombie so we can get to the cool scene. And like, I, I like the zombie scene. I did. I, li I like some of the like when she comes out of the fucking gong. That was fucking cool. There was like mm -hmm. cool Raimi mm -hmm. moment transition. Um, but as uh, I'll I'm sorry, but I'm going to hint in my video as we, as Perry through his uh, investigations. Uh, I, we're not sure. Okay, remember I I reported. Well, a lot of people reported that uh, a woman director was asked to do Black Widow. Hi, and um and she refused to do the job because she wasn't allowed to do the action and CGI scenes. Well, apparently it's the same for the men. No, mm. they're already the the action scenes are already made before or already designed before the fucking film's written. Some might be designed for the director. But the director might not be directing those scenes, and that might have slipped. We're good. Th thanks, babe. Aw, really hi, Mrs. N. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Melissa. Uh, it, it, she, she came in through. The, there's a secret passage through this office. <laughs> I think there's a window. A <laughs> like, a it's a hobbit door. Oh. Yeah, it's a hobbit door. The um, entrance to uh, comics division's lair. Yeah, we're, we're trying Was to it, find. Did out America more. Chavez punch a portal? <laughs> Lesbian portal. Yeah. 
so so but basically like these are really over processed products that are made sometimes tailor made yes sam raimi was able to direct scenes and there were some Sam Raimi scenes, but a lot of that movie was just generic. You know, this was like wor obvious work for hire, obvious work for hire. He had no like creative say into this other than they made scenes for him, for him. Oh, and it was about books. They're like, let's get Thank Sam you. Raimi. He likes books. He likes Necronomicons, right? Which is so. Well, I, I did like the way that in, in his own concoction, his own telepathic concoction, that doc, uh, that Professor X could sense this huge red cloud, which was, which was the Scarlet Witch coming behind him, and doesn't at any point decide to turn around and face it. In the psychic plane, where he's a god. In god. All he's a master. Oh, no, it's not fair. It's god, just not fair. A level five mutant. <laughs> the minute Wanda was, before she even left her fucking house, he would have sensed her, scanned her brain, scrambled her brain. And they would have had like, or, or, or if Scarlet Witch is that powerful, you have a psychic war on the psychic plane like they did in legion they kind of animated it and it was fucking cool but yeah professor like, x-men 3 handled this better it's a reason people can't kill this dude yeah. in the fucking wheelchair okay because he's powerful he's really what? fucking powerful it's like they Look were trying to say Logan, that how powerful he was and he was fucking alzheimer's and bullshit exactly dude, this is, and this is the problem they made her faster than captain Mar uh, carter more powerful blast than Captain Marvel, able to outsmart Reed Richards. Mm -hmm. She can out psychic Professor X. Well, that wasn't particularly hard in all fairness. But it's not the MCU. It's not the MCU, guys. Yeah. I'm not even, I'm just, but I, like, why the fuck should I care? If she, if well, she's gonna this make this is the problem everything. when you have a character with undeterminable powers. We can determine what Iron Man's power set is based off his armor. We can determine what Captain America's power set is based off the super serum. We can base the, even Hawkeye, we can base it off the fact that he can shoot arrows really well. We can do it with Black Widow. We know that she's a highly trained, like, spec op assassin. level or above, you know, assassin. So we can, we can judge. we got a, an indication of what their power sort of realm is. But when you bring in fucking witches that are just throwing fucking colors from their hand and they're, like, hitting some things and not doing anything and then they're hitting other things and blowing shit up, you have no idea what their power levels are, what their fucking powers are, how their powers even fucking work, because then you get to a film like this and she can do fucking anything she wants. Anything. Well, you know what I don't get so, is... Yeah, where do you get invested in that? Where do you fucking care? Oh, well, make do kids. That's what I was going to say, Gary. It's like, we I don't, I don't understand. We've already said that. Why, like, if you're not sorry, okay, because she's not sorry about what she did in WandaVision. No. If you're not sorry about what you did, why don't you just go do it again? Like, why don't you just recreate your kids over again and just... Why didn't she do it at the fucking orchard in the yeah. middle of nowhere where no one was fucking interfering with her? Exactly. Oh, dude, how cool would that have been to see a bunch of little graves? Or or if you want to go more, go worse, a bunch of half-made kids that didn't work. It's like... Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Like I'm ready would have been up for that. Like oh, yeah. the actual zombies, like that would have been Those fucking awesome. Children. Like it would have been, but then, but cool. then that wouldn't have made sense because the whole point of Wonder Vision was the fact she lost vision. Yeah. Yes. Thank Her you. Vibrator. Not Her the kids. The whole time. Vision. Where's Vision? Her beloved. No, who cares about Vision anymore? She doesn't He's care about her brother anymore, which was brought where up was in Wonder Vision. Yeah. No more time Pietro? for him either. Nope. Nope. Where, yeah. Where was all the other Pietro, uh, Pietros? And why was Who's this mom and the same? Is she supposed to be a next? The the, ne that does, the nexus doesn't work like that. By the way, is she the same in every universe? But Captain America isn't the same in every universe. And they didn't mention Tony Stark and uh, Doctor Strange. You could tell it's a reshoot, by the way, because uh, Benedict uh, Cabbage Patch didn't have a mustache <laughs> in that uh, in that scene at the end. I th I totally think that was one of those fucking reshoots that they just did. Wait, Probably which thing does he not have a mustache? He doesn't have a mustache when he gets executed by Black Bolt. He doesn't have any facial hair. Oh. Oh. I guess they're arguing that's a different strange, though. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's a good argument. Of course, it it's it's always a different fucking, fucking variant. So who cares? It's a different variant. But hey, just a different... Oh, fuck. you know, that's Wanda cool. gets to walk off fucking scot free, but uh, in that universe, <laughs> Doctor Strange has to get killed, even though he, he brought the, the Darkhold back to <laughs> right? defeat Thanos to save their universe. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Fuck it's you, so though, good. Doctor Strange. Fuck yeah, you. Yeah, I would just be sat there like, we're gonna have to deal with you. I'd just be sat there go, fuck. <laughs> you! Yeah. Fuck all, all of you! you. Yep. 
Yep. Yeah, and, and tell you what, Black Bolt, fuck you the most. Yeah, you, you get know, a sling ring, and you get a sling ring, yeah. and you get a sling ring. This is why it was so shocking to me that there was no vision, was because at least in the first 10 minutes of the movie, like when, when he goes to her in the orchid, she brings up vision. She's like, I had to see you kill him, and like all this stuff. And I was like, okay, so like, are they going to bring him back? Like, is vision going to help her snap out of this bullshit? Like, again, like, you know, is, is this something that are going to follow up? Nothing, no vision, like, ever again. <laughs> Yeah, Let's explain this like to you. That. He will. She will wheel out his corpse for sympathy points. She will not go any further than that, though. No. <laughs> hey, look, no, 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 guys. You, you see, Wanda doesn't know about white vision. Oh wait, she does. Yes, she, she does. does. Yeah, I was like, yes, she does. Hey, she knows about as much. She knows more about him than Doctor Strange knows about her being a fucking witch because she he wasn't <laughs> even in a fucking show. Wait, Wanda knows about cum vision. Is that a thing? Yeah, but yeah. he attacked it, didn't he? In one division. Oh fuck! I completely forgot she should be aware of robot vision. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yes. <laughs> she didn't even look into that. But Jesus. her vision. She's, she's like, like tell her at the end was... when he was fucking being destroyed because everything soul. was coming down. I put my consciousness into white vision. Yes, go find him. How go is her him. skull? I mean, because it cracked. We clearly heard it crack. It should be clear <laughs> fine. Uh, yeah, murderous white vision. This is her perspective fucked off <laughs> i'm not even gonna go look for him no you know, no she is, she is a see you next tuesday you know yes. what's so great by the way if you've seen captain a america massive civil one war, if you've seen captain america civil war then you know that oh, the yeah. illuminati <laughs> couldn't stop wanda but you know who could Rhodey. just <laughs> Rhodey with his little his little 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 arm thing where he went pew and, it, and she goes ah, ah. It's like, yeah that's, that's, that's yeah. all he needed just Rhodey to show up and and they would have won because yeah. of course, Rhodey can't compare. She, did, she didn't have the dark. She didn't have the dark old and She didn't. She, she didn't have uh, Agatha unlock her. Oh no! None of these excuses work because she's taking the body of a Wanda, who's to be fair, just Wanda. That's all, that's all she is. No dark old. Oh, by the Wanda. way, the symbolism yeah. of Soccer Mom coming in and killing the oh, Illuminati was also <laughs> MCU. That was purpose. Like she has her little rolled up pants bare feet fucking soccer mom <laughs> goes in there and kills the fucking illuminati this is an mcu fuck I, off why didn't she grab shoes <laughs> they, no I'm that was so when she was blocked around. up by the, the, the massive the fucking door, door how did she just come in from the side there is a screenwriter going this is gonna look so fierce a soccer mom coming in and killing the illuminati i fucking promise you she that was her motivation fly. what yeah. the Fuck! Like, no someone, uh, someone mentioned by the way, uh, like, does it really count as to outsmart and Reed if he's an idiot? And it's like, no, that's that's how she won. They made Professor X a shitty psychic. They made Reed an idiot. They made Captain yep. Marvel yep. even. They made her Wonder, shit. Before you turn me into spaghetti, I just want to tell you how to defeat <laughs> Black Bolt. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But they also uh, made her I'm dumb. Just, I, am okay. the oh, I am the most genius <laughs> of the universe. But they also made her dumb. Like this is this is the thing yeah. that really bothers me is that it, everyone's like, dumb. Everyone's fucking dumb. The and writers are her. dumb. That's Erica the thing. Chavez is the dumbest. She just stands <laughs> there until she gets told to do something. She's useless. Like America Chavez was useless. He's been whipped out of his butt. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm almost, I'm almost sure that was a reshoot joke because it's Spider-Man related, which they probably added in later because yep. of all the shit with No Way Home. And that's why it's, it's just like a. They probably on the set were like, "Wouldn't it be funny if you said Web comes out of his butt?" And they all laugh, and it's like, <laughs> "Wow, guys!" It's like, "Yeah, put it in, put it in, put it in." That's what she said. Uh, just like uh, you charted <laughs> in the '60s to the. the I was like, oh, "What the what?" I just went, I, oh, I was actually going to ask if you guys could explain that joke to me because that's, I don't get it. Uh, no, nobody's going to get charted. Charted is a term used in the fucking sixties. It's like it means your record charted. It like like oh. the Beatles charted in the sixties. Oh, I got I got that. The part I'm confused about is the Fantastic Four don't exist. Yeah, in they the don't, MCU. No, but they, they don't make music. I, it was the worst. I'm like I, I don't know why they made this what? joke. It's supposed I didn't to even be. Get it. It's it's breaking the fourth wall. It's supposed to be nod nod wink wink. They're from the sixties, right? And uh, uh, yeah, I I just all these people thinking that John Kras what the fuck's his name Krasinski. 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 I didn't I didn't watch The Office. I, I watched the British version. Um, oh. so everybody thinks he's gonna be done. Uh, Reed Richards now. The I message. Don't, I, don't, I don't think so. I do not think so. I think this was here's for the fans. Here's your white Reed. 
Uh, but we're going a different direction in the in yeah. The, this was the this was me, and uh, basically, I liked <laughs> him. I wanted him to be Reed Richards, and then they're like, "Here you go," but fuck you. No, Gary. He's dead. When when they cast Reed Richards, they're gonna go. Here's Reed Richards. He's a tiny black gay <laughs> Rwandan <laughs> yeah. guy. Rwandan guy, born in Rwanda, by the way. Uh, First not, language is French. Not. Not I know, right? Uh, but everybody's like, he's a Scottish actor. I'm like, no, he was born in Rwanda. I'm actually probably more Scott. Well, I am more Scottish <laughs> than that guy for sure. <laughs> for fucking sure. Uh yeah. America Chavez is meant to be 15 in the film. Mm -hmm. Really? We'll get, we'll get to Doctor yeah, Who really? because uh Doctor Who's fucking dead. There's your spoilers. Um, uh, also, but, but that's that's the Reed Richards that's gonna come out of the MCU. That's gonna, I mean. I'm and it's going to be done. with uh, Johnny Storm instead. Dude, I'm telling you, man. No, that that's hey, that's the same reason they did uh, Ruth Doctor in Doctor Strange, the black female doctor, because they're they like, oh, well, we're going to have to go back to a dude. So let's put a black female in now so we won't get criticized later. Uh, was it is it a story decision? No, it's completely an identity politics racist fucking decision. But that's how they made it. That's exactly how they made it.